Let's go to Georgia. Floyd, what's up? What's going on, guys? Floyd. Okay, Anthony. Hey, how are you, Floyd? Floyd I'm from Georgia. All right, I'm just fine. All right, good. I Floyd. want to tell y'all to have a good uh, holiday. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, you need to take a break so the competition can catch up with you. What do you mean? Oh, there you uh, go. There's a radio show, uh, Lex and Terry are out of Jacksonville. Yeah, they we know can't. we know about Lex and Terry. These guys uh, never really made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, they got syndicated a little bit in like media markets, but they never made the big time, and they're very well, uh, I, they're very frustrated by that. By the way, I drive a semi, and uh, I parked my truck, and I was driving home, and I figured, well, I listen to the the local station, you know, but I couldn't take it, man. They were just now touching on uh, oh, uh Pat O'Brien story, just now getting on it. Yeah, because it took that long to edit it. <laughs> Anthony, I got to break into your reading uh -huh. for a wacky radio alert from Tom in Kentucky. Oh, let me uh... Yes, Tom. Uh, I got Lex and Terry going on right now, and they're using Rosie's voice from that movie yeah. and calling 900 numbers and letting Rosie talk to the operator. Oh, that's wacky. Oh, you want to hear it? Yeah, uh, let's tune it in there. Uh, all right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Oh. I'm hearing you. <laughs> you coming? <laughs> She's just confused. <laughs> Super safe having a sale on soda. 24 cans of soda for six bucks. You gotta take me. Are you some sort of conceptual artist? Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah, good one. Yes. Hmm. That's sad. <laughs> I agree. It is sad. Do you love him? That didn't make sense. Come on, chick. You're weird. So you gonna stay with me? I'm hearing you. She hasn't hung up yet. Uh -uh. She's hanging. She's hanging tough. Rachel. Collecting the money. She's taking her three ninety nine a minute and hanging tough. There you are. It's like a prize fighter. That you. Oh my God, this bit is not working, wow, you asshole. Not working, oh, Bell. You're, you're got to learn when to punch out. And I don't know what you want me to talk about, so I guess I'll just play some music for you. Oh, that'd be nice. Thanks. All right. Wow. Tom. Thank you, uh, Tom. Do we got Tom back on the phone? That is a wacky radio alert, Anthony. Yeah. Ugh. Well, you know, we ask the listeners every so often if they hear something wacky going on on the radio in their hometowns to uh, give us a call, put the phone to the radio, and let us in on it. Yeah, I mean, that's a bit that, uh, I mean, you know, a million radio guys have done. Soundboard bits. It's the soundboard bits. Uh, do we have our Arnold, Arnold prank calls, or we never got that back from Rick either? I, uh, we have those? All right, we might have How those. How are you? Quiet. The problem was the, the person on the other line wasn't really buying into the bit. No. And then these guys are o overly laughing, trying to, you know, make it sound like it's a better bit than it really is. It is, man. <laughs> The, see the fake laughing? Yeah. <laughs> Soundboard bits have to really work, you know, in order for them to be effective. The the all the the dialogue has to be in context and stuff. And, uh, it wasn't oh, right. and the guys are now saying this is classic. No, it's not. What's classic about it? Classic. It's awful. Tom? Yeah, I'm gonna go now. I love this chick. Can you hear me? <laughs> See, it's, it's just not yeah, working. It's Are they still on the same phone call? Yes. Yeah, of course. It's not working and they're in they're in bit hell is what it is. You yep. know, you think something's gonna work and it's as it's going along you realize, Oh my god, this is a disaster and you you're trying to make something happen on the fly and, and it's just pot, not working. They're pot committed. Really and they're, they're they keep calling the raises, knowing they're going to lose the hand. <laughs> right. All right. Let's take uh, David. David, you're on Lex and Terry. All right, thank you. Instead of just being honest and going, well, this stinks, let's yeah. go to something else. Yeah, it, w it wasn't working. You know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe they had a couple that did work, but that one yeah. was awful. Maybe but next time. Perfect. Wacky radio alert from Kentucky. Thank you, Pop sir. Back. Let's go to Harry in Ohio. I guess Lex and Terry weren't happy with us uh, uh -oh. critiquing their little bit yesterday. Oh, no. Harry, what's up? What's up, fellas? What's up, Norton? Hi, Harry. How you guys doing? Good. Let's get right into it. What's up? Hey, man, these guys are dogging you all. They're talking about you all need to bow down to Howard, uh, give the guy some respect. And, Opie, they're dogging your name, man. It's like this is a childhood name. You've got red hair. 
my God. I'm completely trashing you guys. I got red hair. First of all, I don't. Second of all, it, you know, my nickname, you know, goes all the way back to 12. I'm not happy about it. It's not a radio name that I decide, hey, this would be cool on the radio. It's been my name, unfortunately, since I was 12 years old. Why are old. they kissing Howard's ass? Why are morning guys doing Ugh. that? He's your competition, stupid. They're going to help you. Yuck. They're trying to pave the way for some kind of uh, relationship with him when, when uh, they get thrown off or something. I, what, like, why would you? Are they just, are they mentioning our names, Opie and Anthony? Uh, yeah. Are, are, they, are they saying XM Satellite Radio a little bit? Yes, they are. There Thank you go. You. They they're, fell they're, right they're, into they're, our they're trap. Wanting, uh, they're trying to tell you guys that you guys are not the gods of radio and that when Howard comes to XM, he's going to kick your guys' ass. Hey, I'm good. When I, Howard comes where? To, to uh, yeah, when All Howard right, comes well, to XM. Very good. Thank it, you. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a known fact, I mean, that we will have a larger audience when uh, when Howard goes to satellite radio. That is a fact. You can look it up for yourself. So, you know, Lex and Terry, it, 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 uh, just a bunch of guys that didn't really – take uh, major chances in their careers, so they're stuck in these kind of mediocre markets. So, yep. uh, you know, if it works for them, great. You know? They suck. There's a lot of people, I hate to say it, but it's true, a lot of people jealous of uh, the success Anthony and I have had. You know, they see the national coverage we get, and, they, and they're not happy about it. Yeah. But, I mean, I was going to play them for you, man, but uh, they done went into another bit. I mean, I just walked out and got in my truck dude, and started up. And another bunch and, and just another bunch of phonies, by the way, because we did some of these press junkets with Lex and Terry back in the yep. day where, you know, they fly in for the Grammys or what have you, and there's a, a million radio stations set up, and, and uh, we don't do those anymore. But uh, And then they have the celebrities from one station to another to another to another to another. Right here in New York, Grammys a few years ago, maybe a, a little longer than that, five, six years ago, uh, we met Lex and Terry, and they were nothing but nice to us and saying, you know, the, nice to meet you and all that bullshit. So. Well, I'll tell you what, you couldn't tell it this morning because, oh, what? God, they're trashing you guys. Plus, uh, they was talking about Norton, you know, the, the, the guy that, that never shuts up. The, I don't know his name, but he's on the O&A show all the time. <laughs> Thinking, Jesus Christ! Wow, what the hell's going on? Wow, we're so bad, but they, but they know everything about our show. I couldn't tell you one thing about their show. I know their names. I, I've seen their names in the the radio press and stuff, but I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you who else is on the show. I couldn't tell you what kind of bits they do. Right. I couldn't even tell you what markets they're in. I know they're not in any of the big markets. So nah, I don't know nothing about them either. I mean, nah, they played right into our hands. I, I love when these guys play right into our hands because we need all the exposure. And uh, publicity we could get. So you know, if they if they're syndicated uh, here and there, and they're mentioning Opie and Anthony and XM Satellite Radio, then once again we've done our jobs. That they are doing. All right, very good. All right, brothers, punching out. Thanks, Harry. My I don't know, man. I don't want to have to deal with the wrath of Lex and Terry. Just <laughs> bags. No one knows you, stupid. <laughs> I love these guys. They're just the worst. Yeah, Zucro jerk offs. I mean, forty minute bit that wasn't working. Yeah, and you don't have the radio honesty to go. Ah, this sucked. If we stink, we'll acknowledge it. You didn't have the fucking the 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 moral courage to admit that your bit stunk, and you kept going it and fake laughing through it. You dishonest nobodies. <laughs> you know, one of the things that Norton brought to this program, I think we were doing it a little bit before Norton, but. Uh, no one really brought into the, the forefront is the whole, you know, if you're bombing, to acknowledge it. Mm -hmm. I remember the day, especially in the early days with Anthony and, and I, if we were doing a bit and it was bombing, we would try our best to just try to make it work and <clears throat> kind of get through it and maybe do a little of that fake laughing, i got to admit, just to get, you know, just to make it sound like it's working. Nervous. Or nervous and stuff. <laughs> but you brought that whole, you know, angle to the show where... What did you just say? I mean, there was a time if I slurred a word or mispronounced something, I'm like, oh, my God, I hope no one, you know, caught that. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. And I'm supposed to be this professional broadcaster. But you were the one that brought it to the table, like, what was that word? And then just smash it in the face. And it's become a great part of the radio show, i got to tell you. But these other guys, you're right. They don't, they don't, they're not honest with what they do on their, uh, their program at all. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Is there a chick on that show? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you anything about them. If anybody knows Lex and Terry, they're fucking two completely androgynous names. Uh, please let us know if uh, <laughs> either one could be a guy, either one could be a girl. Fucking two trannies doing a radio show. <laughs> Is there a chick on that show? See, and they've been uh, at it a lot longer than Anthony and I. You know, Anthony and I have found the secret of uh, getting, you know, going right to the top. You, you got to, you know, listen to your instincts. You don't listen to the bosses. You have to take chances. You know, unfortunately, sometimes you got to get fired. 
just so he could get to that next level. Right. And, and most of these guys out there, they're they're not willing to take any of those chances. They'll act tough and cool on the air and make believe they're they they tell you how it is, but they're not really telling you how it is Mm-mm. at all. And that's the difference between our show and, and and pretty much most of the other shows out there. There's a few other guys that doing what we're doing, but not Lex and Terry, that's for sure. All right, let's move on. Pat from Rochester, what's up? Oh, hold on. We might have a little more info on this. This is always interesting, actually. Ed in Pennsylvania, what's up, Ed? Hey, not much. Hey, the reason Howard, uh, the reason Lex and Terry are busting on you guys so much is because uh, Howard's befriending them because uh, he, they seem to think that uh, they're going to serious with him. So he's been discussing he wants to bring certain people to... Oh. With him. Don't they see? He's just he's doing this so that they all uh, talk about him and give him the publicity and press that he's going to need when he goes over there. And he loves this adulation. So he's hanging this little fish in front of everybody's face going, hey, I'll, I'll take you to Sears with me. Oh, I think I'm going to give you um, a spot on one of my channels and this and that. So they all start kissing, <laughs> spitting food out, yeah. kissing his ass. All these uh, uh, all these little shows out there just hoping they're going to get the call from Howard when Howard goes to satellite radio. Uh, We're the only show that said, fuck you, Howard, you fucking dick. The guy, is, the guy has never helped anyone else in his uh, in his entire career, and, and he's, never and he's will. A scumbag behind the scenes that that whines and cries and and, and puts uh, gag orders on his fellow uh, radio broadcasters. The guy's a dick. And instead well, of instead of fighting but instead of fighting back, he goes to you know the big bosses and makes uh makes people on his own uh, on his own station or uh, in his own company shut the hell up. That's 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 great. That's what that's what you want from your uh, your your radio guy. All right, well, let's then. Put kissing his ass, man, and you guys are the punching out. All right, thank you. Let's go to Pat in Rochester. What's up, Pat? Are you talking to me? Pat. I take I take pride in the fact that we didn't need Howard's help to make a name for ourselves in this business. Kiss his ass. That'll get you far. Everyone else, you, all you others, you could go kiss his ass. Kiss his ass. See open. where it gets you. Yeah. Could I have a spot? Shut up. Shut up. Ass. Go ahead, Pat. Uh, this is Pat in Boston. Pat. Uh, am, I the, am I on the air? Who is this? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I have a question for Professor Anthony. Uh oh. Yes. Uh. Regarding contracting um, mouth herpes, um, do you feel that Opie got them from an ego pig or, you know, floating around with the boys at the BK house? Uh, hmm. This is someone that went to oh. Geneseo, right? No, no, no. I'm from Boston. I'm just a big fan. Oh. No, I think I got my uh, my swamp mouth that comes up every once in a while and my cold sores from probably a stupid aunt that had one when I was a kid. I've been getting them since I was I, I since I can remember walking. You think a relative gave you? Uh... Oh, that's how it, I think that. I, well, you know better than I. No, I don't know anything about that. I, I think that's all. I think that's all it takes. I, that's I've one been, subject I really don't know about. You're lucky. I, no, I've been getting the cold sores since I I can remember, mm. man. And it, and uh, supposedly, you know, it's all it takes is someone that has one of those things on their mouth and they're kissing you and that's it. That's great, nice aunt or something. Somebody. Oh, I mean, who are you kissing at, like, six or seven? You know, maybe aunts, yeah, your grandma. mom. My mom didn't have it. My dad didn't have it. Grandma with the open uh, mouth. Maybe, maybe grandma. Yeah, maybe. Open mouth, <laughs> Can you <grandma>. imagine? <laughs> <laughs> so, Chuck from, uh, is it Louisiana or L.A.? Yeah, L.A., L- Los Angeles. There you go. Hey, well, dude, I got to ask you. I, I, I'm a little annoyed today. I got to ask you something. Go you, ahead. Do you listen to the channel uh, later at, uh, at night? Sometimes on the way home. I go to work really early in the morning, so I'm, I'm on the road at 4. I'm getting a lot of complaints, and I, I'm just amazed that we haven't figured this out uh, yet. But basically, like this show we're doing right now, we'll uh, replay all day long. Mm-hmm. And on right. the West Coast, it'll end at 8 o'clock at night. That's it for the Why? new show. And then they go into s- some kind of best of thing for a couple hours, right? Yeah, there are a couple of replays, and then after, I, I don't stay up that late because I have to be up really early, but I, on, on Fridays I listen, and yeah, it goes into, like, uh, Worst of at, I think, yeah, 8 o'clock at night, something mm. like that. Yeah, 8 o'clock at night on the West Coast, they're going into some dumb Worst of. Uh, usually the bits are stuff that have been played a million fucking times. Why don't old, they just... Old shit. Old yeah. shit. Why don't they just keep rerunning the show? And then they finally, like, 
you know, I got to get, I got to, I got to get the details. But then finally, a couple hours later, then they play. They'll play this show again, but it'll now be after midnight or or, or around uh, or, something? or around ten o'clock at night or something like that. Mm. Yeah, so that's just dumb it's, programming. It's, I don't get why we don't have that figured out eight months down the road here. Huh. A lot of times, it's stuff from like the first free play. I mean, from months ago. Wow, bad. It's, bad. it's, it's really bad because I mean, we have to look at this as a national uh, show. Mm -hmm. So you're yeah. uh, you're just telling the West Coast, uh, yeah, you guys don't matter. You know, at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. You know how many people are really listening to the radio at 8 o'clock? That's a good yeah. time to listen. Mm -hmm. And Night sometimes it, it can drive me insane because if I'm not up this early, you know, there's stuff that was happening early in the morning that, you know, you don't get to participate in because it's it's all replay, replay, you know, but time difference. What can you do? Right, right. All Anthony, right. you son of a bitch. Wait, hold on a second. We're trying to get to the – hold on one second, Chuck. I'll go back to you. Tom in Kentucky. What's up, Tom? Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. What's up, sweet tits? Hi, Tom. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, I was on yesterday. It was one that brought you Lex and Terry. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, well, we lo Hold on, hold on. I'd like to set this up. We love when you guys uh, do the wacky radio thing for us. That's how that bit's going to go. If you, hear, if you hear something happening locally on one of those dumb little shows, we want to we listen in. So just keep that in mind, okay? We have given that bit to the listeners. You hear wacky radio out there, you call us, and we go right to you. But go ahead, Tom. Uh, Lex and Terry are the you know, two little faggots with no radio show are trashing y'all this morning. They're on the radio talking about y'all are a bunch of has-beens. Nobody really ever liked you. And when uh, Howard... Hold on, hold on. No one in radio liked us, that's for sure. We had we had maybe a handful of uh, friends, so they're, they're, they're right about that. The rest of them, the rest of them are... I can't even tell you, man. We, we have to get into this someday. The, this business is filled with just a bunch of hacks that have no business, broad, uh, business broadcasting at all. Well, they just kept going on and on and on about how when Howard came on and said he was going to XM, y'all went running scared. That's why y'all are off the premium channel. And it just totally blew me away because I was listening to the show, and y'all were the ones that were talking about cutting up the rosy bits and using it in some kind of a playback motion. The very next day, they're doing a 900 number with the same idea, and it ain't even working. It's totally blowing. I mean, it's like... Uh, oh, this sucks so bad. I was well, like, oh, God, i got to call these guys. Well, that's why that's why they're spending a lot of time uh, talking about us today, which is really helping us out, and I want to thank them for that. Because, you know, you you, you're not going to get under our skin here. You're just not. Uh, ra radio guys will not get under our skin ever. But the funny thing is, if they're blasting and, and losing their minds today, it, it just means we really got under their skin yesterday. They knew that bit was bombing. It was bombing in front of a national audience, and we called them out on it, and they can't take it. They just can't take it. Isn't that great? They're bombing, and then because of us, they're bombing nationwide. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kentucky's totally That's got the great. virus, dude. We're infected. Punch uh, it out. All right. Man. That cornball phone call that was getting nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, listen to what she's saying now. Yeah, this is Shut classic. Up. Yuck. Yeah. What's for, classic about it? For any other radio guys listening, because they all do have uh, satellite radio. I mean, radio guys were the first ones to get satellite radio because, yeah. you know, in the end, you're really into the, the whole concept of radio. So you're, you're going to pick up the new technology and start listening. And they're the ones that know radio really stinks. If you want to go on your show and trash us, that's fine. Just make sure you say Opie and Anthony. And maybe, maybe say satellite. That's fine. Mm -hmm. and, and you just watch how, how, how has been we are. You just sit back and watch what happens next. I'm sure they do a terrific radio show. Fun, fun little local show. I never heard of them. Yeah, Kevin from Jacksonville. What's up? Eclectic. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? What's up, Jimmy? Hi, fella. Hey, I'm from New York. I live down here in Jacksonville, Florida now, down in the south. I'm sitting on Interstate 10 in traffic. Two loud stickers in front of me, one on the back of my Jeep. Ah, uh, nice. So it's spreading down here, guys. Cool. I appreciate hey, that. have you guys ever heard of uh, the morning show down here, Lex and Terry? Yes. Their stick is you call it and they help you solve their problems. Mm hmm. Hey. They, they, you guys, they help you solve your problems? I wonder yeah. if any of our listeners would call up because they have AIDS and get that problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys are spreading down here, though. These guys are the big thing down here, and I'll tell you what, I can't stand them. Well, they, but, never, uh, they, they never really made it, to be honest with you. I mean, you know. To be number one in Jacksonville, uh, all right, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, show, right. yeah. show me number one in New York. Show me number one in Boston. Show me number one in Philly, Washington. L.A. Uh, LA would be a good place, you know. Yeah, Jacksonville yeah. is like, uh, no offense to you because you live there, but in the radio world, it's like, eh, 
All right. Yeah. So you're yeah. number one in sure. Jacksonville. Great. Sure, sure. Yeah, they're always bagging on XM, though, because everybody's moving to XM. Right. But I'll tell you what, everybody I know down here getting set up, wow stickers. Cool, People bro. People are talking about you, so you guys are great. Keep Thanks, it up, man. man. Yeah, you just watch how this Thank grows. You. you just watch. All right, hold on. we got to go to the phone really fast here. Say hi to Mark in Oklahoma City. Mark, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Hello. Those, those two douchebags a couple weeks ago, Lex and Terry, they were doing that soundboard thing that was all fucked up with the Rosie O'Donnell clips. Oh, yeah, yeah. we remember them. They're going to do it again today, but God damn it, I just ran out of their signal. I was going through Tulsa, and they're on in Tulsa, so maybe another listener can call you guys with it. All right, well, we like uh, these uh, wacky radio bits, so. Okay. Uh, ma maybe someone here. else will call in with that. that. There's an echo on his there phone. There he goes. Yeah, me I heard that. A little odd. Brian in Florida. What's up, Brian? Uh, hey, uh, I got Lex and Terry down here doing the 900 thing. They're they're halfway through it, though. You want to hear it? Yeah, all right. Let's uh, listen to Lex and Terry right. again. They thought they got a bad rap last time. And eggs. And then milk mm. to the right consistency, to the right make it perfect, you know. And then put them on your griddle or your pan with a little You don't need to buy that box stuff. Yeah. <laughs> everyone usually has flour, sugar. Everyone usually has this yeah. stuff in the house. She's used to making beef. Paul, Paul, all burned at your hand. Of course, these people are going to be here all day Burn. This is unannounced visit. Burn. There's definitely not a weekend visit. Burn. Oh, hey, I do it. Are you smoking? No. Yeah. Oh, I'm off. Not well, basically, they do soundboard. No, they call, like, uh, phone numbers, and then they right. have a soundboard and play clips. Uh-huh. Well, okay, then, okay, then you just tell me so I won't ask no questions. Okay, you're safe, though. Not so bad, too good. I got your Christmas present. Right I sent it to you. If you didn't receive it, that's not my fault. That's sad. <laughs> You know what? It probably got lost in the mouth. Yeah. That's not going to happen. Oh, yes, it does. You know what? I didn't register it, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did a mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time I'll register it. Did a mistake. Definitely not All right. When's your birthday? Born August 12th, 1962. Oh. Uh, that's awful. Oh, Once again. They, wow. I yeah. thought uh, we gave him a bad rap last time, but once again, it's just awful. That was really bad. Awful radio from Lex and Terry. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just the phrasing of that, just awful radio oh, from Lex it, and Terry. It really is. I mean, you know. <laughs> Guys never made it in, into a, a real radio market, and they got all pissed off because we listened in on their show, what, a month ago, and it was awful. And that sounded very awful as well. Mm -hmm. Just bad sound clips playing... To some operator somewhere, I yeah. guess. All right. Those that are inaudible sound clips. Those are the type of bits you should do when you're not on the air. You, you go to a production room and you do it. You edit it down nice so it's guaranteed to be really good when you play it on the air. Right. But they're obviously doing it on the fly. I guess they're kind of lazy or whatever. Oh, God. Well, be what? This is hilarious. These guys can't take shit. It's hilarious. Who can't? Uh, who's this? This is Jeff. Hey, Hi. Jeff, what's going on? Uh, I was just calling you to give you the 411 on uh, Lex and Terry this morning, slamming you again. I think it's Army time. God, these guys, are they, don't they understand they're playing right into our hands? We're a national talk they're, show they're, just trying to get exposure all over the country, and they're giving us exposure down in Florida, and I guess they're in a few other markets. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I'm calling from Tampa right now. You guys want their number? Are they doing it now, or...? Well, they just went to commercial. They got a number. It's called uh, 800-977-DO-US. 800-977-what? Do-US. D-O-U-S? That is it, man. Yuck. How naughty. <laughs> naughty. Oh, they're a sassy one. Sit the kids in the other room when you put on these firecrackers. Do-US. T-E-E. T-E-E. What's the matter with one nine hundred jizz bags taken? <laughs> Do us. Wow, these guys can't take anything. We we've no. slammed them for maybe fifteen seconds. We got a little on, upset. Uh, and now they're going off on us? That's perfect good. for us. Yeah. Alright, well let's see what the army could do today. The ONA Army. One eight hundred nine seven seven do us. Do us. Yeah. Try not to giggle when you're dialing. <laughs> <laughs> naughty, naughty radio show. Hand oh, over mouth. What? Tomorrow they do a tomorrow they do a bit where they call it Drunk Bitch Friday. 
where they have this chick in there and uh, they get her drunk like all day long or all morning long. You guys should just pound them tomorrow. Well, I'm sure that's a really sincere well, pay. You know I'm what? sure she's really drunk. Yeah. If they're really doing it, I got it. You know, if if we're going to be honest here, it sounds like it could be a good bit. Drunk bitches yeah. are always funny. Yeah, you know. Well, yeah. it, it Unless is. Unless you're married to one. It'd be, stupid <laughs> to sit, it'd be stupid to sit here and go, wow, that sounds hacky. It sounds like it has potential. Yeah, yeah they, can't, right. they can't go very far with it, of course, you know, because of the FCC or whatever. But they take a lot of phone Can't calls rape her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just, be, just guys, again, just pull over before you dial that number. <laughs> one, what is it? One nine hundred or one eight hundred? One eight hundred. What a dummy I am. One nine hundred. Who would have a nine hundred number for a radio station? One eight hundred nine seven seven. Do us. Do us. Do us. You know all of us. Will you shut up? <laughs> Jesus, dude, you just. All right. What, what were you saying, dude? Uh, shut up. Will you shut hold up? On, hold on. Hold on. Not talking to you. Yeah. We're talking uh, to the caller. What are you saying? Yeah. What? I was just saying the last No, dude, hold on a second. I'm trying to get the number out. one 800 one 800 Dude, is it one 800 one 800 talking to me. <laughs> do us. Tee-hee. Oh, Lex and, I don't know what Lex and Terry do. Uh, just tell them you don't want to listen to them. They'll understand. Believe me. The funny thing is this guy still here. No idea. Hold, hold on. Right. What's that, Chatty Kathy doll? I didn't hear you. <laughs> the worst. I was wondering if they had to tie you up every now and then to calm you down. No, I'm actually, uh, I think my breathing's been a little off lately. I'm very concerned about it. I don't know Aww. what it is. I think it's, uh, it's something with, uh, my, uh, whatever. Your You're heart's stressful. Right. You're a little Maybe. stressed. Well, yeah, cool. I, I, you guys go on the tag, man. We'll talk. It's annoying me. Oh, he was just nonstop. But he's a good boy. 1 800. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm laughing. It's funny. <laughs> Four letters. A I D S. <laughs> 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 1-800-DO-US. I don't know, guys. That's a little naughty. Do that you think is racy. I don't know. What if parents hear that with their kids? You know, because they understand what do us means. Yeah. Talking about sex. I that's think. right. If you're going to get clever with a phone number, that's how you do it. You just have the number, then it spells out AIDS, well, and, and let everyone else figure it well, out eventually. <laughs> well, apparently there's a bunch of unfunny bits, and they screamed out, do us. And that's what that show did. <laughs> 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 Fucking hillbillies. <laughs> All right, this is a perfect opportunity to regroup. Yeah, I got to take a leak. Ooh, Ooh Anthony, well, we it's very rare all... that you uh, take a leak. I know. know. Got to go. All right. Though. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one eight hundred do ant. <laughs> oh no, that's five letters. Who cares? It's still funny. Horn beep. Horn beep. Who's coming to the bathroom with me? Me. me. All of us. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, let's uh... like, hog the stall so Ant has to stand at the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ant doesn't like standing at you the urinal. You bet he doesn't, especially when someone's leaning over, going, mm. "That's right," making the yummy noise. Jimmy, Jimmy gets a little personal. <laughs> he sure does. Nothing wrong with one friend just talking to another friend, walking him through something. Jim Gaffigan in studio playing the improv here in Washington D.C. Pretty that much all weekend he's long. Funny. He's he's very funny. Yes, he's pretty funny. He's Jim that's Norton's you. favorite comic. I'll say. <laughs> Jim was uh, cracking us up during the commercials. He's talking about like kind of like bad radio all over America. Well, it's it's a struggle. You go in some markets and you're just like, you know, it's just awkward. They just literally point at you. All right. Go. Be go. funny. One minute. <laughs> One minute. Or, to you be know, funny. the best is like the the morning TV shows ah. in the tiny markets because, I mean, you know, somebody's somebody's a DJ and they have to communicate with people. But you'd think that like the morning TV people would be better at it. <laughs> But it's yeah. even more awkward in like some good morning kind of. We know, did one in Pensacola. Cleveland. It's crazy. And we got to get the audio of that because remember we were making some off-colored jokes and stuff, and they're just like horrified. Oh, they are I, the most. We're like, not cursing or anything, but you know we were talking about our gig, and they're like, "So you guys excited to be in Cleveland and go to this gig tonight?" And, I'm, and, I, and I go, "Actually, not really. It's going to be a sausage factory." <laughs> and they were just they couldn't go uh -oh. to commercial. Yeah, fast they started enough. looking at each other like, "Oh boy, it could be trouble." I did. I did a. a, a, a TV thing here in D.C. where it was on location around Christmas, and there was a, a new reporter, and it was it was some fundraising toys for tots or something like that, and it was literally the interview went like, "Say so you're a comedian, so what are you funny?" and I and I tried to do something, and it wasn't that funny, but she literally she was like. That's not funny. Like I, was talking, no. like I was talking to a, a college student, you know, like just on, the, you know, like yeah. in a grocery store. Oh, We're on no. TV, and I was like, and I just looked at the camera, and I go, yikes. <laughs> and after that, people would come to the show, and they'd be like, that yikes was just so brilliant. Because there's so many awkward, awkward moments where, like, people are like, 
you're a comedian. You know, like, you're just going to make, can you make a pancake? You know what I mean? Just, like, do it right now. How did you not just attack her? Not physically, but verbally. Oh, it it was, well, that's why I did the yikes thing. Because it was just, and but I went right up close to the camera and did the yikes. Yeah. But it's, some of it is you don't have time. And I knew I was heading there. You know, it's like, she's like, you're a comedian? No. I've never heard of you. Are you Paul oh, Shore's friend? No. Where is she from? <laughs> she was. She was. Do, it was a local thing in D.C. for a TV show, a morning show, Toys all, for Tots thing. All the sets look exactly the same, except for the number of the, whatever channel it is. Yeah. They got the like NBC or CBS logo, and it's all the same. And you walk in, it's just a different head of hair on the girl, but yeah. the same type of people. Yeah, I mean, the, there, the one show, I mean, there is this WGN morning show in Chicago that's pretty fun. But really? It's, yeah, it's like the rest of them, it's just, you're like, I don't know where they got these robots from. <laughs> it's scary. You're like, this is just going to be really awkward for about two and a half minutes. You ever do Houston? I had to do a morning show there where like, there's two guys in the studio, but one does all these voices, the gay guy, the black guy, and the hillbilly, but you have to not act like this one fucking jerk off doing eight voices. <laughs> Am I supposed to nod and respond to the black voice, you fraud? <laughs> I have to feed into your fucking complete lack of honesty with your listeners? Yeah, funny black guy, the gay guy's looking at me. Where? <laughs> With me, white people. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I didn't blow it for him, but I wouldn't acknowledge that it was different voices. It was awful, and I was in there, and they start playing a Henry Phillips CD, uh, but not. They were being pleasant, but I was just bombing, and I knew yeah. it. And I hated them, and yeah, so, no, yeah. it can be really awkward. Yeah, but I think it, there's there's a power of radio that like like in in Tex in at in Addison, I did this station, and I left, and the guy kind of like built up some drama. Like we have some kind of like fight or something and I'm sitting there going I don't even know who you are <laughs> and like people would be like after the show they'd be like so what are you going to do about uh, Pudge or whatever and I'm like I don't, what about Pudge well he's got like a vendetta I guess he was telling people not to come to the show and I'm like He's just advertising that I'm in town. It's like, yeah. oh, was it Pugs and Kelly? It was. Wow, oh, they're actually okay. good friends of ours. What happened? What happened? Yeah, that's rare for I, them. You know, it's like I literally did. Now I'm just playing into the fucking drama, aren't I? Yeah. What happened, Jimmy? Look, Gaffigan, I'm coming for you, man. No, I literally was down there uh, three years ago, and I was. Uh, it was like a, mo- you know, like you start with radio in the morning, and then it was like a midday one, and. It was like, you know, I was not working from a bonus or anything like that. So I was like, all right, yeah. And I totally understand the value that it's a retail market and stuff, a retail business. So I'm sitting there, and we're waiting about 30 minutes. And, the, you know, it's just like, it's just this informal atmosphere. And I go, when are we going in? Why wouldn't we be going in? And uh, the guy that I was with was like, well, he, he, he sometimes you have to wait. And I go, all right. So then it was like. 45 minutes, and I go, I go, look, this is kind of ridiculous. It's like, if they don't want me on, I totally understand. Let's just get out of here. And he was like, no, 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 let's wait. And so then it was like 50 minutes. I was like, look, come on. You know, it's like they're discussing, you know, they're discussing the same same garbage that we're discussing. I go, let's just get out of here. Tell them I'm sick. You know, let's just go. You know what I mean? And it's like, and it's like, finally, I was was trying to convince the guy from the improv, let's just go. It just doesn't matter. And uh, so then I go, and they're like, Gaffigan left out of here in a half. <laughs> and he does all his stupid white guy jokes. Da, 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 da. And then I found out that, you know, that some of it's an M.O., kind of like, it's kind of like a, a Chicago radio thing where they came from, where you, it's a power thing. You make people wait. And I don't know. Maybe you guys do that, too. Oh, where you make Jesus people. Christ. These two... Jimmy and Opie got into a huge, real, not even, not even near fake argument on the air, cursing, like I didn't curse. No, you didn't. Opie did. <laughs> Opie was part no, of potty mouth. That's an issue. But it was a real I didn't argument. Curse. I called him a fuckface. It was a real, legitimate argument over about? the fact that. Opie would make people wait outside when nothing but, was going no, on in well, the studio. So, some of it is like, but, but I, again, I, it's I, like, look, I think it's like, you know, it's like you're totally at the pleasure of the host of right. the show. And I, I totally I, appreciate it. But that. I got to defend myself. It, it's not because of a power show. It never is. It's it's about like uh, knowing what you have at the moment in the studio. You don't want to yeah. mess up the chemistry. So it's a it's a weird thing you got to deal with every day. Like with you, for example, we said, I found out you were here. I'm like, just bring him right in and, and throw yeah. him right into the, the middle of You've what we You've been on we the doing. show before. We know you can just come 
come in and right. we'll talk yeah. about whatever. We've had guys come in, you know, that are and just sh- awkward. They're just and showstoppers. It'll, 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 it'll big, stop it. We call it the big, sweaty, dirty hand on the rusted brake handle. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, and Sparks I, are flying out of the wheel. Better known the as, show. I totally appreciate Better known that. as the cooler, you know. And, and yeah. then all of a sudden it takes you out of your game and it's like, uh So you deal with this on a daily basis. Like, wow, I know that guy's waiting a while, but it, it's, I swear it's not never anything about power. It's, a, it's about trying to make good radio. So even though it's like, like, yeah. And, again, and to be to be fair, it's like I don't you know I don't know maybe it was one of those things and but you know it's like they didn't have to have me on you know what I mean uh-huh. and it was like and I heard that later on that they you know it was kind of like a track record of you know and not you know like I'm nobody you know what I mean it's like I can understand you know it's like. All right, let's a potsy is here. Let's put on potsy before gas. <laughs> there was no one there. It wasn't like the Pope had died and they had all these yeah, bits right. they wanted to do. Breaking news. It was, uh-huh. like, it was just regular but it was talk just show like, fodder. And then I heard afterwards, you know, and it's like, I was like, all right, well, you know, the guy was pissed at me, so what? And so then I'm going back down there and they're like, would you like to straighten it out on the air? I'm like, <laughs> well, so, some of it is like, would you like to be, would you like to come in and be attacked on the air? Would you? Like, and I'm just... And I've I've had people come back from uh, from Addison. They're like, yeah, what what happened with you and that guy? I'm like, nothing <laughs> happened. <laughs> it's, just, it's like literally, it's like some of it is the drama for the drama sake. So yeah. I'm like, I you know, it's like I just I do jokes <laughs> on hot pockets. It's like I'm not like sitting there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I don't know. I think that's funny. Uh, that's very funny. Speaking of DJs, Lex and Terry took some kind of weird shot at us at the end of their show. Oh today. no. I hope they don't wreck my state theater gig on June 25th. Let's take a look. Huh? June 23rd. Or, or, oh, no. Or shot at me, I guess. My favorite part about the wine country was the food. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop going to Bartles and James then. I got. I went, you know, I went to that Opus One. They didn't have a food. It's like good you know, food, food was unbelievable. I don't know. We, they gave us a bunch of wine. I don't know what it was. We drank it. I don't know if they, you know, there was a big group of us. I don't know if they brought it in or what. But. Join us tomorrow for Yuppie Talk. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get much gayer than this. Hey, yeah, no, then we're going to rollerblade in Manhattan. And pick up girls. Yeah. Because that's what they want to end up with, speed skaters. <laughs> 40-year-old speed skaters yeah. with thinning hair. Yeah, with red thinning hair Ooh. that look like Ron Howard. Take me, Opie. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like I didn't get what that so, was. Now that you guys, the, the so one good slam though is they're saying that you want to pick up girls. I know. Yeah, that's really awful to want that. <laughs> exactly. What do you think, pussy is yucky? You fucking <laughs> so, Florida what, zeros. Were, were you <laughs> seen rollerblading once? Is that what it was? No, I, I, I commute to work. Uh, I inline skate to work. And, you know. How do they know that? I don't even know what market they were until Steve looked it up. He said they're out of Jacksonville. How do you know where we commute from? I, I inline skate to work through Central right. Park, and I skate around Manhattan because it's an easy way to get around. And uh, and God forbid I pick up girls. Yeah, I'm pick sorry. Up girls. I want to know though because that was kind of taken out of context. Gay picking up girls. And I think thing. I've I think I've lost maybe. <laughs> 20 hairs in the last 10 years. Yeah, a lot it's blonde and young looking. Is my hair thinning? I, I didn't even know. Maybe that's, someone needs to tell me this. That's one of my favorite things about you is your blonde, soft, touchable <laughs> hair. It's not red. I you think I'd fuck him if his hair was red? <laughs> I hate redheads. I'd love to have that much hair. Are you kidding? I'm sorry. I pick is up this chicks. Is thinning? Yeah, you're wrong. I guess. And then I guess he said you thinning. look like Ron Howard because that's an Opie thing. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. I, I, that's I'm, a good one. I'm not happy that I'm stuck with his name, you know, but I made a name for myself in radio and I'm stuck with it now. I, I got the name when I was 12. But dude, anyone that would tie that in as an insult, like he looks like Ron Howard, like ugh. I don't look like Ron Howard, though. Exactly. It's kind of taken out of context, though. Were they talking about? Were they goofing on you, or was that something from something earlier where they were do, maybe doing a speed skating story? I I, I have, have no idea. No, nah, so I know there's, there's, there's too many, too many, there's yeah. too many references yeah, for it line, to not be you. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is, I'm sure the laughs were big because yes. those guys are hilarious. Lex and Terry, I apologize that I like girls. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck, but what's wrong with you, though? Seriously, like, like you like to exercise and pick up girls. What a fag you are. Damn. You should just be in a small market. Ah, the and broadcast drama. Broadcast to a few other small markets. More the drama. More drama. All. The drama just drama. Like, like, these like, are the type of local jerk-offs that will have any comic in, though. Like, comics, a lot of comics here get passed on. They don't want them in. Um, but you go down there, and they have, like, a deal where they'll pay 50 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever it is to these local guys. Hey, could you have so-and-so in? Yeah, sure. You know, and really? They, yeah. That's how these local TV shows have all the comedians on. They don't know you're funny. They don't know you're not funny. But they're getting like 50 bucks a piece or whatever the price is that they're getting. 
That's how uh-huh. they get them in. That's what these little, little small market shitheads do because they don't make any money. But it is just like professional wrestling. It's always just, the, like you said, the drama. The and drama. For the, the drama for the sake of drama. It's like everybody needs, you know, it's like you hear about these situations and you're like, you want to ship them some Wellbutrin. It's like, hey, man, I get cranky too. You take one of these pills, it'll do a wonder. You know what I mean? It's like, we, we, uh, we get attacked a lot like like that, you know, people like jabbing at us. But we uh, we usually settle it with our, our dopey-ass listeners. Our listeners are the worst pests, like the most the, the most annoying bastards. Yeah. And they'll search out, like, phone numbers and addresses, and they'll harass these people. They'll make maps no and stuff. What I mean, else will they yeah. do? They'll search out this guy's phone number. Yeah, yeah. this guy's phone number. <laughs> we had a, oh, all you have to do is say something like, the chair is against the wall. We, the chair is <laughs> against the wall. Manchurian we had a, <laughs> we had a slight thing with this guy, uh, Todd Schnitt. He, he's out of uh, uh, somewhere in a, Florida. A radio station. Tampa, It's maybe. always Florida guys, by the way, right. that come after you. Have you noticed it's always Florida yeah. guys? Why are they so cranky? It's so, so sunny so Jim, and nice down there. So he calls us uh, imbeciles or something, whatever. So we responded, and then our listeners took it to a whole new level, right? Oh, the, really? The guy thought he could you, he could trash talk us a little bit. We're like, ah, whatever. We'll we'll take on anyone, pretty much. Well, yeah, we have taken on everyone. It's fun. And the, and the listeners took it to this level where the guy calls our agent, because he so happens to be represented by the same guy and, and is telling our agent, don't these guys know I'm represented by this, by you as well? Like, he couldn't take it. So now behind the scenes, he's calling our it's agent like someone to tell your us to dad stop. to right. make you stop <laughs> doing like, stuff. It's like, I know I kicked your son in the yeah. balls. <laughs> right. You tell him to stop beating me up. Yeah. No, what it, it's got to be flattering on a certain level that like you're you you're like the 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 where the target the, the targets you're where they have to take the pot shots to get some credibility, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they, they yeah. it's always these Florida guys because they they think that they're like there's something about being down there with all the hot chicks and they just can't break through. But it was a schnitt. He's out of Florida. These two jack offs are out of Florida. And who's the other one? A Shannon. Was out of Florida. Him, yeah. They're all. Out of, I don't even remember. What, of course, I don't remember what town he was out of. And he was in a town, not even a city. Always They're all something. out of Florida. And you know, it's interesting also with radio because it's like you're like if you that if if you don't like it. What are you doing listening yeah. to it? It's like, it's like, if you don't like Bill O'Reilly, don't watch it. You know what I mean? Unless you right. just need to be angry I about love it. the people, yeah, that have to be angry. They watch and go, oh, I hate this I guy. I can't believe it. I, I I went and I bought satellite radio. I got XM <laughs> just so I could listen to Opie and Anthony and be angry. I hate them, and I'm paying to hate them. <laughs> I, I didn't know. Honest to God, they know he rollerblades. I didn't know if Terry of Lex and Terry was male or female by the name. That's as, as honest as I can be. I have no idea. Yeah. How do they know anything about this show? Why know. would you know? It's it's a lot of jealousy, right? I mean, that's oh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's, some of it's a tactic and some of it's jealousy. Look at that news chick, though, Kim. I wouldn't mind banging her. She's not bad. I'm sure that's what, you know, I'm sure she's a very talented, funny person on the news. Huh. Yeah. Right. Hey. She's really revealing and exposing herself. All right, we got the Lex and Terry thing. This is going to piss off, I think, Norton more than anybody I'm sure here. it won't. Yeah. These guys are terrific from Florida. Where well, we're they? giving out the golden tickets. Ron Fez, of course, starting up on the channel on Monday. Oh. And uh, we got uh, four more tickets we're going to attempt to give away in the coming months, hopefully. And we've already said no to Lex and Terry. They're a one-market sensation. There's a bunch of these guys around uh, America. They do very well in one market. But as far as uh, doing a national broadcast, they, they, yeah, they, nah. they, don't, they don't have what it takes. And that's, uh, that's a fact. Right. What market are they in? Uh, Jacksonville, I think. Jacksonville's uh, their big market. They've yeah. had some other ones, but that's their big And then they yeah. syndicate to a you know a couple of smaller ones, and that's about it. Like, and that's Harry. it. And the, the radio is made up uh, of uh, a bunch of these one-market sensations, we like to call them. They do very well for their hometown. That's great. Uh-huh. But they can't. Uh, they don't have what it takes to do the whole country. Almost like a force of habit. You tune in to them. And uh, we've already uh, rejected them. They're on the fucko list with many other radio shows. Not about the fucko list. <laughs> the good old fucko list. You're not on our golden ticket list. <laughs> you guys want to fucko? You want to officially uh, throw a show on the fucko list? I don't even know if I have any. I, I guess I would just say uh, Bill O'Reilly is on the yeah. fucko list for oh, me. Well, well he does radio, so there you go. Bill O'Reilly is has been added to the fucko list. Hey, where's Earl, by the way? Earl was sleeping in. The last I heard. Where does he live? Fucking the Hamptons? How long yeah. does it take to get here? Get up, put on your black clothing, and come. He is just in a panic. <laughs> Where is he? An absolute panic. Look at Ben. Earl is a man with justifiably low self-esteem. Yeah. <laughs> like you should hate yourself, and you do. It all works out in the end. He, he's riding in on old paint, his old horse. 
<laughs> pulling the junk, the junk wagon that he's selling pants off. You know, we got to play patches now. That's like honey. honey. Get right that, yeah. Get that damn song. We're right now, play. Red is breaking his honey jars. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Earl. Tuma. <laughs> we got to play the Earl song now, damn it. Yeah. I hate when that happens. I love this song. Eric, get it quickly with your child oh. shorts. So we got a, um, we got a, we got a sample of uh, the comedic uh, stylings of Lex and Terry. And Shut your goddamn pie hole! And their fine, uh, and their fine radio show down there in Jacksonville. Uh, I'm sure yeah. it's a zoo crew hoot. I, uh, I don't know. This is pr- pretty boring, actually. But uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll just go with it. Here's Lex and Terry from yesterday. I, I thought of a new bit for the show yesterday. It's called "Who Ripped Lex and Terry Off." It can only be two answers, though. That's the problem I'm having with yeah. this game. It could either be the regular guys or Opie and Anthony. That seems to be the biggest culprits. Those are. Can yeah. we play it next? If you the biggest culprit. Oh, the can biggest. I, can culprit. I tell you something? You because we have time to go listen to a radio show that's out of Jacksonville. No <laughs> one. We've. I've never heard your fucking audio. No one here has listened to you. I've never heard their show. How has anybody in this fucking room heard your audio, you dog shit Florida morning show? Nobody knows what you do. I've Fuck. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Ever. Nobody knows what you do. We've never listened to you. Radio is filled with these assholes. Fucking hacks. These fucking assholes. Little local <laughs> fucking hacks. What is it, a fart game? Whoops. <laughs> Brits. Those are... Can we play it next? If you want to play... And you just got to guess. We're gonna and we, we'll name a few of the, our regular things that we've done on this show in the past and continue to do. And you just have to guess whether it's Opie and Anthony it. or or the regular or the regular guys. And you, you don't even even know who they are. I mean, we we uh, we don't get a lot of people that know who Opie and Anthony are. It's, that's just flat out lying. Two fucking phony that, voiced jerk offs lying to their audience. That is just just a flat out lie. Like us or hate us, I think we kind of made a name for ourselves with our antics. Our Our fucking radio voices. I think people know who we are. Bert from Philly, quickly, I just want to say, Earl is so tired and so black. (laughs) (laughs) That's so true. (laughs) We're finding the Earl Earl song. We'll play that next. People that know who Opie and Anthony are. Not a lot of people know. No. Um, And the people in Georgia kind of know who the regular guys know, and they know that they rip us off. Sure. All the time. Um, but just trust us on this one. And, uh, you can play. We got one email yesterday, and that kind of speaks volumes that we got one email. Right. From somebody who said that the Opie and Anthony guys were doing something we've done many, many times on the show yesterday. Yeah. One email. (laughs) It's one person. (laughs) So. (laughs) But, but we'll, but we'll play the game. If you want to play, call us at 1-800-977-DO-US. Ew. Nine seven seven do us. Oh, I get it. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Do us, you know, as in the F word. <laughs> LOL. Regular radio faggots. <laughs> oh, do us. T he he. Oh, these guys are wacky. How edgy. They're gonna go with that old gag that no one knows who we are, as they say our names a million times, and prove that we got under their skin. Oh. All right, well, you guys want to hear the actual game? Do, can you play the phone number again just so I can have a good laugh? <laughs> God, that's hilarious and easy to remember. One email. It's one person. <laughs> so. <laughs> but but we'll but we'll play the game. If you want to play, call us at 1-800-977-DO-US. How about 1-877-PHONY-VOICE-CUNTS? Was that number taken? <laughs> a little long. Yeah, it is. You're right. That's probably international. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, eight seven seven do us? Do us? Yeah. Ugh. All right, here's the actual game. It's very, very riveting. This is a this is a thing that we're going to be calling "Who Ripped Us Off." Okay. Today's contestants, you can only choose from two people, so you got a fifty fifty shot, and it doesn't matter if you've heard of these shows or not. Which chances are you probably haven't? But uh, the, the make sure you keep stressing that point there, sir. That's right. Of course. But uh, the the shows, your choices will either be Opie and Anthony or the regular guys, okay? Two of our biggest yeah, perfect traders. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Honking the horn at people. Huh? 
What does that mean? For I, don't know, I, I think fucking Henry Ford ripped you off in 1917, <laughs> you fucking cunt. Honking the horn. Oh. What is honking the horn at? I, I, no one does. Who does that? Meep, meep, wave. Oh, Lex and Terry. <laughs> Who's, who fucking does that and thinks it's funny? Beep, beep. Can't understand honking why these guys the are horn. one market sensation. This is great stuff. Oh, man. they're beeping all over Jacksonville. What is Do honk? us. <laughs> what is honking the horn at people? What I don't know that what mean? that is. Okay, here we go. Honking the horn at people. Like we do, Kim. Who stole that? The regular guys are Opie and Anthony. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, Opie and Anthony. Okay, what do you say, Kelly? Opie and Anthony. All right, what about you, Ryan? Uh, I'm not to say Opie and Anthony. Okay, Andrew? Opening Anthony. Opening right, Anthony. Oh, and A. Uh, Donald? OP. Uh huh? Evan? O but not Anthony. <laughs> What's that, Evan? O and A. And Gator? Opening and Anthony. You are all Opie. correct. Oh, man, that's awesome. Woo! That's really good. All right. We honk the hornet people. Who are you honking at? No, what is what does that mean? We stole a bit where we honked the horn at people from these guys. And since the listeners don't know you, how they come up with this O and A? Is this they're just suddenly? <laughs> yeah, like, I know. Hey, I've decided to shorten it a little bit. Right. Yeah, I'm... even though I've never heard this term before, <laughs> right. I got a great idea. <laughs> o and A. O and A. And he just said it like O and A. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I had the tickets. It's brilliant radio, though, man. You string a bunch of calls together that say Opie and Anthony. You can actually hear our show in the background <laughs> right. from that guy's call. What what bit is that that you beep the horn at people? I don't understand what that means. I have no idea. What do you do afterwards after you beep the horn? I don't know. In really? Jacksonville, you get the cow off the track. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. See, the bit we have, the beat you have is beeping the horn. The bit we have is to stand in a crosswalk when the light is green. So the bits kind of go hand in hand, you boring <laughs> douchebags. <laughs> I have no idea. Next time I'm in Jacksonville listening to their show to rip them off, I'll, I'll try to get to the bottom meep, of that meep. one. All right. That is awesome. All you right. guys are just dialed in. Flash a trucker day, something we've been doing for years and years. Who ripped that off? Mike? Let's go with the, uh, the regular guys. Okay, what do you say, Kelly? Regular guys. Ryan? Regular guys. All right, Andrew? Regular guys. Uh, Chris? Opie and Anthony. Yeah, it was fun, dude. All right, Donald? Keep you going to go with Opie. All right, what do you say, Evan? I'm going with O&A. All right, what about you, Gator? <laughs> Opie and Anthony. The correct answer is Opie and Anthony. They just try to do it like on a Wednesday. And yeah. They, at least they put their own little try to they tried to put their own little spin on it or something. Didn't rip it off all the way, but enough to where it made the game. Mike, uh, Kelly, Ryan, and Andrew... <laughs> Flash it. No one has Flash ever it. heard of Flash of Trucker Day. Flash of Trucker? But what? many articles have been written about Whip Em Out Wednesday. <laughs> Fucking assholes. If these are their bits, they need better names. <laughs> yeah. Honk horn at people. <laughs> yeah. Flash at a trucker. Yeah. At how trucker. Do, yeah, how do you get to your name? How do you get that on a bumper sticker? <laughs> I yeah. just want to have eight more people play the game. <laughs> Shelly. Bob. <laughs> Hank. <Right. and> Daryl. <laughs> Just going on and on. I don't know how you get like. How do you stop laughing when you're dialing that phone number? Do us. <laughs> oh, these two are incorrigible. <laughs> Who made that up? Is it Lex or Terry? That doesn't matter. It's a laugh riot. Phony voices. Yeah, yeah. One eight seven seven. Do us. Fucking cowards. You can't even talk in your own voices. You fuck your wife with that voice. I'm gonna come now, honey. <laughs> you sickening fraud. <laughs> Oh, that makes me sick. That radio voice dog shit makes me sick. And I don't think we have to defend ourselves as far as whipping out Wednesday goes. <laughs> Jesus. Sorry. Our last one. This is another game that we've been playing for, for quite a while. As you know that over the years we've taped ourselves pretty much farting on the radio. And we had a thing, uh, you know, we did a thing uh, many, many times of, of who did that. Right. Who farted. Um, Mike... Who would you say ripped that off? Either Opie and Anthony or the regular guy. Let me guess. Let's go with the uh, the regular guy. All right, Kelly. The regular guy. All right. What do you say there, Greg uh, and Ryan? Tony? Regular guys. All right. What do you say, Andrew? Regulars. All right. What do you say, Chris? Regular schmoes. All right. What do you say, Donald? Uh, regular guys. Uh, Evan. The regular guy. Or Gator. Regular guys. Gator. No, the correct answer 
is Opie and Anthony. In fact, that's why we got the one email yesterday. That was their new bit that they came up with yesterday, like guessing who farted. <laughs> they were being so wacky about it and going, oh, we're so crazy. We're so creative. We We've been doing that for years. That's interesting, huh? And from what I understand, if you did not win your Public Enemy CD, Opie and Anthony and the regular guys will be giving those away starting tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I know I said we're crazy like you know, three or four times uh, during that, but we're crazy. Oh, and they were doing it saying, oh, we're crazy. <laughs> Are they trying to claim that like no one has ever farted on the radio? That actually started with Gassy McGee back at WABC <laughs> back in the 30s. <laughs> he didn't mean to. I think that <laughs> he's going into the Broadcasters Hall of Fame next year. Was that his name before or after he started doing <laughs> See, that? Because what a coincidence. His parents named him Gassy McGee. Gassy McGee. And, oddly enough. You know, when this edgy radio thing yeah. started, it had to start somewhere. I believe the first edgy bit happened. Had to be someone just farting into a microphone and then laughing. I mean, what came what what came before that? If you're gonna start doing edgy radio. Well, we're here in Lakehurst, New Jersey, watching the Hindenburg arrive. It's a wonderful sight. This huge vessel making its way across the Atlantic Ocean. Here it is. Uh, the uh, ground crews are grabbing. Oh no! It's caught fire! It's gone! Get out of the way! Oh, my <laughs> oh, the humanity! Oh. <laughs> See, dickheads, that's how you do radio. Yeah, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Such a mark. I'm just marking out like a kid over here. Just jumping up and down. See, if you could improv like that, you wouldn't be just in one stupid market. You fucking zeros. Jesus. And you think every time I don't get up and stick my dumb ass in a microphone and fart, do you really think I think it's genius? It's fucking 13-year-old nonsense. It's drivel. And I know it's dreck. It's just funny because farting is always funny. Right. Edgy radio started with farting. There was nothing before that. No. When it was, um, you know, it was P and post farting. It was really right. as the yeah. radio started. It was uh, two for Tuesday and then <laughs> farting on the radio. There was nothing in between there. But just to imply that, that like, fucking, we're listening to that awful radio show. Where do you live? I, honest to God, where do you listen to the Lex and Terry show? I mean, you can get it online. I've never done it. That's the most insulting thing. Not the fact that they're accusing anybody of ripping things off. The fact that they actually think we have heard their show <laughs> insults me. Would you listen to anybody's show? Oh, isn't it terrible once you start working in radio? It's just, like, the last thing you want to do. Uh, guys, hey, listen. Li absolutely. I, I I do have to apologize because we try to keep things honest on this show. They are syndicated. They're syndicated to Moscow, Idaho. <laughs> so they're not a one market sensation. <laughs> All right. They have a few affiliates. Moscow, Idaho. Well, Which is actually Moscow, gloomier than the real Moscow, <laughs> yeah. Idaho. What, what market number is that? Is there a comma in it? <laughs> fucking nobody's. <laughs> Jacksonville and Moscow, you should shoot yourselves in the fucking head with your phony voices. That's Everybody it. stand back. Uh, they're on in a bunch of little, uh, they're on a college station? No, that, That's not. a joke, right? That's the the gotta be a goof. Huh? That's the name of the town. All right. Where, uh, the name of the oh, college, college station. station, Texas. Wow, we were syndicated to places like, uh, hmm, Boston, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. Don't forget the Big Apple, Ope! Uh, well, we... Yeah, well, that's bigger than anything they'll ever do. Uh, but they are syndicated to a place called College Station, Texas. Opie, where Texas A&M is. Yes. It says on the website that the Lex and Terry show started in 1997. Is that true? I don't know. It couldn't be. Hasn't the ONA show been around uh, longer than that? When were you guys doing WOW? We did WOW, wow. pretty much our first year in Boston, Boston so that's like 95, 96. Don't we sound all silly though? Hey, we did. Now I got dates confirming. <laughs> we don't. We don't need to defend. And I testify as as here. But just to imply that you ripped off farting. It's like, what are you? What? Who's fucking heard your show? That's interesting. I want to play this uh, again because uh, the hole finally had something to say. Who? Oh, the, there's a hole on that show. Yeah, we it, talk about the uh, hole that has to be part of every morning show. Oh. She was very quiet until the end. Actually, I don't even think she says anything. The old she... fish cutlet. Do they really have a broad in that fucking studio? <laughs> they got to a hole. keep it honest to the lady, to the lady right. listen. They got a hole. Listen. Sing, huh? And from what I listen understand, closely. if you did not win your public enemy CD, Opie and Anthony and the regular guys will be giving those away starting tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure they will. <laughs> All right. 
There you go. There's the whole. Yeah. There's her contribution. <laughs> Force a laugh. Just to let the ladies know it's okay to chuckle at the boy humor. You fucking twat. You fucking token. So. Uh, <laughs> she's there to balance it because it would just yeah. be a boys club. Scold the naughty boys. Oh, guys, now. Come on, now. Back me <laughs> up, ladies. Here's what she should be doing. You should hear this. Every fucking morning she has a woman, you should hear this. And that should be her head fucking bouncing up and hitting the console as she sucks the dicks of the men who talk. That's what you should do, stupid. Open your mouth and swallow your paycheck. <laughs> Lex and Terry like to have a gal in there to keep it honest for the lady. Yeah. Hey, I just want to point out. Fucking fucking faggots. I want to point out we got somebody behind the board who's making things happen for us. It's uh, Black Earl. Wow. Is Earl. Is Earl he... is sitting behind the But You're going to have to put a little more light in that room because <laughs> I didn't even know he was there. Just I just thought Derek up. had gotten up and left. Looks like the opening to Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> just an empty seat. Uh, so there you go. Lex and Terry having fun. I, uh, you know, just. It, it was boring radio. It's who cares radio. That's not going to get the job done, fellas. No golden ticket. No Fuck golden ticket. List. Once again. And uh, what? Oh, Earl song is in too? Okay. Yeah, uh, by the way, yeah, guys, attack and have fun. Enjoy yourselves. Wait, what's the number again? It's, Enjoy it's, yourselves. And just, uh, hold on. Let's see if I can get this out without laughing. Is it is it one eight seven seven? Is it uh, is it do us? Because <laughs> okay. do us is kind of like you know, innocent. You can kind of say that on the radio. You know the moms will hear, but it won't get you know anybody really offended. Right. If you know, do us. <laughs> do you need an area code? Uh, I guess it would be eight seven seven. I'm not yeah. sure. Is it? You need yeah, more then you need more numbers. See, when you're a one-market oh. sensation, you don't need a, an area code. It's the prefix. Oh, I'm giving 877 us. That's right. That's not enough numbers. Area code would be 877. Well, I what should you're know. lacking is the three-number prefix. Oh. I listen to that show oh. all the time, too. How can I forget that? Yeah. What is it, Stan? I'm looking. Please. It's 8675305, I think, is what it is. Oh. Wait, that's Jenny's number. I'm sorry. I get so, <laughs> confused. Right. I get so fucking confused. Wait, wait. <laughs> Lex and Terry are <laughs> <laughs> ah! Sorry, my colon is ripping you guys off. <laughs> Guess who did that? <laughs> oh, it's uh, one eight. Is it eight hundred? Yeah. Oh, thanks. I've been fucking up. One eight hundred. Oh, uh, nine seven seven. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> is it really nine seven seven? Nine one eight hundred nine seven seven. Do us. <laughs> you know, those guys go. like to get laid. I bet. <laughs> Show them uh, that we only got one listener that uh, wrote in. Yeah. All right. 977-DO-US. Doug Out wants to check in real fast. Doug Out, Doug, what's up? What's going on, guys? I just got off the phone with the Lex and Terry phone screener myself. <laughs> okay. Ooh. And I told them. I told them to listen. Listen real hard as 2,000 of my closest friends are charging their cell phones. And they will take control of their show for the next <laughs> week. We'll be <laughs> proud. We'll take them. And that golfer screener does suck anyway. Great to have you guys on, Ron and Fest. Oh, thanks. Hey, do they, do they pull you. you through or no? They just they just clicked off, of right? Of course not. Are you kidding me? We're just going to swap their phone lines. We're going to take their show. Don't worry about it. We got it, guys. Got we it. got it. They know where to go. You guys know the secret websites. The intel is out there already. Uh, Ron no. and Fez, in case you guys haven't seen this yet, yeah. this is going to be some really funny shit. I uh, know. Tomorrow, I don't want to know anything about it. I, I just have the feeling sooner or later these people are going to turn on me and Fezzi. Yeah. That we're going to just say something wrong. We know they're going to turn on us someday. Yeah, we don't even control our own show anymore. Yeah. We don't control our own destiny. It'd be like uh, Mussolini and his family yeah. out there just <laughs> hung upside down <laughs> by our boot heels. They love you for a while. Might, yeah, our heads caved in in the streets. <laughs> we might have to explain this to Brian Regan because he... Yeah, what, what, you, what, what, you what look happened? a little scared there. Well, we used to have uh, fans. Now they're called pests. They're just annoying. Yeah. They now take over other radio shows if they feel like it. No they, joke. Yeah, they have. Uh, they buy they have billboards an now. They have a, an army, literally, this army that they mobilize and attack other people, people yes. that we don't Brian, particularly like. Are they like. under FEMA? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have secret websites, all sorts of stuff. And we mobilize better than FEMA, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you yeah. know. Brian, and seriously, this would be great for your only human show. I don't know <laughs> where you're going with that. But I would love to watch this. I, uh, I might even go the whole thing and not turn it off. <laughs> they completely took over a radio show in Orlando. Uh -huh. And then uh, to rub it in, they actually bought a billboard on their own. 
And you know what I heard? To from, rub it in their face. I they have heard, their own financing. I, I yeah. heard from they a friend. They have their own financing. I'm not even kidding. That yeah. was a Clear Channel billboard. Yes, yes. And the guy works for Clear Channel. Yeah, yeah. they don't care. Yeah. I have uh, people I know that work in that uh, station and told me that that whole show just was fucking flipped out. Livid. How do yeah. you do your show when you based your whole yeah. show on phone calls and uh, you could not take a and we'd, one? We'd love Lex and Terry fans to call the show. You're welcome to call the show. Not one Lex and Terry fan call. You're welcome to call the what's show. What's that phone number again? For right, the Brian? Pets? But uh, what's, what's the beef with, with Lex and Terry? Don't that, you a... worry about it. Just <laughs> rest assured there's right. beef. I'm yeah. sure it can be okay. worked out. 1-800-977-DO-US. Do us. Hey, uh, Mr. Regan, uh, also a pleasure to talk with you, sir. Thank you. Uh, your, your infamous with having new material every time you're out on that stage. Let me just tell you what we do in our attacks. We hear the same old Connor Peterson jokes that you heard a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> they will be funny every time. Yeah, they have no new material. That's... Wow. You will hear you lose good day, sir. You will hear a little Connor. You'll hear the same shit, but it will be just as annoying as if it was brand new. Hey, have, have, uh, yeah, so I hope they're getting any audio of any calls or any like reactions that those two faggots have. Yeah, prepare for the uh, okay. cease and desist orders. Talk to you guys. All right. See you, man. There he goes, dugout dog. He's one of the generals there, Brian. One of the generals of the uh, ONA Army. Rallying the troops. Yeah. Uh, yeah, rallying the troops. They have secret websites that we don't even know We're not where they are. We're not and allowed they to coordinate know their attacks. <laughs> Say they're attacking a show, well, in uh, Florida. They will post cities around the show so that when they call in, they could sound authentic. Uh, you know, because uh, well, a this caller would be from here. Yeah, <laughs> and and they'll 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 post subject yeah, word. You got through subject matter that they're talking about recently on the show, so you can chime in with a relevant topic. You know, just, Shamu. Uh, I just left Shamu. Right. And, uh, Shamu. If you say you're from Ocala, they're going to put you right through. Of course. No one, no one would like make that up. I'm from Lutz, and I would like. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk about the budget. <laughs> Which budget? You know what budget I'm I need to talk about. The, we the weird thing, though, Brian, for you, this would be like any hecklers that you have organizing yeah. and following you from town to town. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know imagine I mean? that. The worst nightmare ever. Your entire audience is hecklers from <laughs> different parts of the country, Same. all united. Weird day from Ocala. <laughs> all united in hatred of you. That's odd. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little scary. It really is. Oh. Do, we still have this? Do we still have that tip? Oh, now I get it. <laughs> the horn. <laughs> I'm horning somebody. It's beeping the horn, not in the car. Oh. It's the wacky <laughs> horn. That's who we're ripping off. Revelation. Do they really think that you stole that idea from them? I don't know. That's almost mind-boggling. Isn't it? It's mind-boggling. They'd have to be older than Harpo Marx. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> to take credit right. for that one. We only steal from black and white people. 1-800-977-DO-US. <laughs> Those faggots in Florida. Uh, let's say Brian I, uh, Regan sent you. No, <laughs> no, no, no don't. Brian don't, don't. has nothing to do with that. Uh, no, please. I, I'm out yeah, of this I, beat. That's right. I, I still I haven't found out what, what you're angry with them for. I, I understand your army is calling in. Let's just say they, they started it. It sounds know. nuts when they you say it. What they started it. You don't need to know we anything, We sound like asses Brian. when you say it. <laughs> yeah. But what did they do? Someone Peace with Nick. logic in this room? Stop. Hey, I was, uh, I got to say, I was chatting with uh, Doug, uh, Doug on... Uh, Online last night, and he directed me to the Lex and Terry message board. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, an assault, eh? It was. Well, no, I mean, there was a couple of uh, thousand Open Anthony posts. <laughs> Dude, it was so awful. Oh, a party rock. They know how to spam the site. Every fucking post was Oh, a party rock. The board is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> they might have had it fixed by today, but it was ruined It'll just last get ruined night. again because They'll that's ruin what it they again. do. Were there any clever names, or was it just one guy just there was, Well, there was one ferret girl who I, I, didn't, I didn't even know. It was one, no, uh, uh, LNT uh, Rule, mm -hmm. Ellen T Lex and Terry fan. Yeah. And then there was uh, Jimmy Robinson. Jimmy Robinson, um, I like that. Pat Battle, there was a few of them. Pat Battle, I love the names. They come up, Old Gravy Leg, <laughs> always been one of my favorites. They Ben's hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is great. I love when Ben's hair posts. <laughs> well, they made the mistake of saying we had no listeners. That's that's cute and all, but that boy now it's going to get ugly. Smashed. Yeah. Smashed. Good. Well, we got Doug on the line here. Oh, he's got a phone? Uh-oh. He's got to come back from yesterday's call, I guess. Hello, Doug. Good morning, fellas. You know you bombed yesterday on you the show, right? Absolutely know you bombed. <laughs> I listened to the replay. I heard him come out with the uh, his little opening joke. 
and it got nothing. What was the joke? I didn't remember. It was something about uh, the cell phones. What was it, Doug? Uh, Charging up the cell phone batteries. Yeah, I told or the screener <laughs> to listen real hard. That's the sound of 2,000 of my closest friends charging their cell phone. Cricket. <laughs> <laughs> and But the thing is, I listened to the replay. You actually stopped and waited for something to happen yeah, there. I wanted oh, you bombed. <laughs> he wanted a big laugh. He wanted a big laugh. I think I kind of picked it up towards the end, though. I, I, it wasn't as bad as when myself and the Boston Strangler called in about the Baba Booey attack up in Boston. That was a fucking abortion. I don't know. The message board really isn't very sympathetic to you and your phone calls. Your, uh, <laughs> your last few phone calls have been shaky at best. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you don't do well today, I'm thinking of giving you to Ron and Fez. So. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you black? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give uh, Ron and Fez all our rejects. So. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if you step on a left there, so keep going. Just keep talking the whole time. <laughs> Hey, I worked hard for you guys. We were up till 3 o'clock in the morning smashing the message board till they finally took it offline. Oh, did they finally take it down? They took the board offline. The problem is with the software that they're using, they have to erase uh, each and every post and uh, thread individually. And we had 25 pages of threads just in their main forum. Every single one of their forums, which they had a forum for each station they're on and, and all different subject matter, had at least... 30 pages of different threads. I went, from, I went from page like 1 to page 25. Like I just clicked on 25 and uh, it was the same thing. <laughs> OA Party Rock. I'm like, wow, some gentleman typed that about 3,000 times in a row in the same post. It was, it was ruined. Yeah. Yeah, we have ruined. pictures from uh, tubgirl.org, I think it is, with the girl shitting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Tub Girl. Oh, dude, who's the one that painted? Who was the one? I forgot the guy who put the guy. You know, the bent over guy with the gaping red ass. Oh open? yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah that was Jimmy Robbins. That's an old school one. Oh, that's a that good one. has been around for a while. It's just some gay guy holding his ass open. <laughs> what like classics? One, uh, every time the Jimmy Robbins, that was his. <laughs> the internet <book>. classics. <laughs> what, who, who, what was his name? J that was Jimmy Robinson. That was Jimmy Robinson. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was a classic. Yeah. You'd, you'd open it up and there'd be like thirty of the exact same photo. And yeah, his Lex and Terry fans are just getting disgusted. They're like, well, the mods will fix this. Yeah, <laughs> and meanwhile, there's 12 posts from Steve from Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are so brave, but obviously they're they're not going to go with it on their own show. No, nah. bunch of pussies. So, how, how is the uh, uh, the attack going, Doug? Uh, right now, I, I sent some uh, stuff in. I'm not sure if they got it yet. Uh, with me talking to their phone screener, uh, they're not letting any of us through. It's incredible, really. Because I spent some time on their uh, website, LexingTerry.com, last night, <clears throat> reading their profiles. And they're so goddamn proud of their Harley Davidsons, because that makes them tough. They wear the flannel shirts. They take pictures by fences. You ride rollerblades and fucking drink wine by a Java log. And Anthony won't even shit in a public toilet. <laughs> and you guys will fucking take calls from assholes, and these guys won't. They are fucking pathetic. So around 9 o'clock last night, I came up with an idea I'm going to put out there for everybody. We put $200 worth of a bounty on Lex and Terry's head. Over the next couple of days, mm. we're doing $25 for the first Moira reference, $25 for the first Jimmy reference. What, that actually makes the air, right? Correct. Yeah. $50 for a successful tandem call, and $100 for the call that is most talked about by you guys. Now, <laughs> I love this. Jeez. The ONA Army, the past, they got projects now. Prizes. They got better prizes. Yeah, they're giving out prizes. <laughs> they're giving out. They do. The problem is, is uh, cold hard cash. With the Russ Martin uh, commercial, we went through all the trouble of making a commercial, and then nobody would air it because it mentioned Russ Martin's name. Uh, so the, yeah, we, we, it can't be funny and not mention Russ Martin, so we kind of had to pack that one in. Right. That's so, all right. Uh, not every project's going to work there, pal. We had, we had money left over, so we figure. Let's put a bounty on these assholes' heads to keep the incentive up. And uh, everybody can put a little coin in their pocket. And if they want, they can turn around and they can put the money into the uh, hurricane relief fund that you guys got going on, too, on eBay. Hey, are they, so Alex and Terry uh, not even acknowledging that their message board was crashed? No. Oh, I asked of course not. I asked the all about it this morning. They, they... What's their phone number? 1-877, what is it? 1-800? Uh, 1-800, what is it, 977-DO-ME? Do us. Do us. Yeah. Yep, and they did. They fucked that message board good. A big whack bag cock right into it. Hey, Martini Steve has entered the studio. Oh. Uh, 
Hey, uh, he can't, he can't get it started this morning. He had to, uh, he had to get a rental car because yeah. his uh, hybrid car uh, didn't start this morning. Right, exactly. <laughs> Steve just handed something in here. Steve? Yeah, uh, Doug Out Doug sent me some audio of him versus the uh, Lex and Terry phone screener. It's a short little succession of clips of him jousting back and forth, or not jousting, fencing back and forth. How many times did he call there, Doug? Uh, about 30, between 5, 30, <laughs> wow. and, uh, oh, wow. and when I got on hold with you guys around 7. <laughs> and we got a montage of some uh, of the better uh, things. <clears throat> All right, let's listen to this. There's the phone ringing. Lex and Terry. Hey, what happened to your message board? Huh? The Lex and Terry message board, what happened to it? Mm, I don't know. We <laughs> fucked it up, stupid. <laughs> Great editing. What do you say when a TV is floating around your bedroom? (laughs) (laughs) The answer is, nigger, drop my television. Holy crap, what's wrong with you? Sheriff, you sounded taller over the radio. (laughs) (laughs) Need two, three rings open. Hey, man, what's up? Not much. Doug just being an ass. Yeah, that's what I do best. That was beautiful. That was pretty funny. Man. And that just went <laughs> on and on? Yeah, yeah. That oh, is, what I mean, pests. it just continued. Uh, I tried to get through with a serious call. They had some girl in there. Uh, so I was trying to do like a relationship issues call. And uh, they got the caller ID up and running. So uh, a few of the guys using the spoof teller are trying to get through also. But uh, I guess they're my... not that brave after all, huh? No. They saw my area code from 757, uh, which, is, which is up here in Virginia Beach. So... They knew I wasn't from any part of their listening area, so they told me they wanted to call me back, etc. So I figured I'd just have fun with the golfer answering the phone. So how, it's amazing how like these guys, they all their shows get dominated pretty easily because they have to start panicking about callers getting through, and, and they're not going to get who they think they're getting on the phone. How could we never worry about that? We'd like Lex and Terry callers to call. Go ahead, call. Who gives a shit? They were advertising taking calls for about 40 minutes, and I, and as far as I was listening, they didn't do it yet. All right, what's the phone number again if you want in on the attack? I got it. 1-800-977-DOUS. D-O-U-S. one 977 do us D O U S. And don't forget about the bounty uh, out there, guys. We will be PayPaling the money directly to your account for successful <laughs> calls. And uh, Jimmy was money also being talking transferred. about Jimmy was talking about Ferret Girl that was attacking. Yeah, uh, yeah, I saw that name. I, I didn't even know it was an O and A fan. Please go to Whack Bag. Her name on Whack Bag is Hillary the Great. Okay. And just behold the pictures of this fine creature. Is she really hot? Oh, my God. All right, we'll go to whackbag.com uh, and check that out. 18. Well, really? Oh. A little and old. she was the biggest <laughs> ass out there last night. So she's, like, really a like computer savvy? I, I, uh, I, she's got pictures in her sig. Uh, yeah, she knows exactly what she's doing, and she looks... Drop that gorgeous. I hope it's not a boy pretending to because I'm going to get like a little crush on, on Ferret Girl. Uh oh. I know. It, it, Might be a guy. Yeah. I hope not. Again. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll take a look at our pictures there. Keep us uh, updated, Doug. Yeah, don't don't give me the Ryan and Fez, though, okay? Well, no, we'll keep you. <laughs> no, okay. I guess you did okay uh, today, so you're still safe. Okay, I'll stop now then. And uh, any other projects you guys are working on? <clears throat> uh, we're still trying to get things moving with that uh, first secret project, and we're just waiting for the second one. All TikTok. Right. TikTok. <laughs> scary. TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is frightening. Dug out, Doug. See you, sweetie. From whackbag.com, doing a great job with the pest thing. Right. Hmm. Paul, what's up? This is Paul. Hi, Paul. Hey, Paul. Yeah, I'm from Kansas City, working down in Jacksonville, and I tuned into the bitches at uh, Lex and Terry over here, oh. and the first thing they're doing is bashing you guys and the Army. And the army. They don't want to bash the army, trust me. And it's not an army. It's a bunch of pests. 
There's a big they said to pra- have the army bring it on in so many words, if I can paraphrase. Okay, okay, army, bring it on. These faggots who, whose message boy was crashed in an hour. Uh, 1-800-977-DO-US. D-O-U-S. D-O-U-S. <laughs> oh, that was just a little verbal tip. You're just a little confused because it's your birthday. I get scared. I should sing it. 1-800-977-DO-US. D-O-U-S. Uh, call them because they're saying bring it on. And uh, there are a couple of fucking... Florida dullards with phony radio voices. They can't even be men and talk the way they normally talk. They got to talk like that. They're fucking Man. phonies and they're cowards. And the army's going to smash their faces. All right. There you go. Douchebags. Lay waste. Let's go to Evil Trucker in Dallas. Evil Trucker, what's up? Hey, fellas. How's it going, o and Hi. I wanted to get an update on the, the attack on that Lex and Larry or whatever the fuck the name of that show is. Evil Trucker, you change your name like every week, don't you? Occasionally, when the mood hits me. Aren't you also known as Max? That's right. Wow. I tried, I tried to three-way on the Lex and Terry. I was going to try to drop a, a bomb on them, but it fucked up on me. So, oh well, shit happens. Um, Lex and, I was gonna, Lex and Terry got in way over their head, and uh, they backed way the fuck off. And I was going to call them about my uh, selfish bitch girlfriend Moira, but the damn thing hung up on me. So he was uh, Moira. Oh.